Hi everyone, I have merch. You can find it, link in the video description below or at chubbyemu.store. A mukbanger ate one gallon of pickles for lunch. This is what happened to her brain. BT is a 33-year-old woman presenting to the emergency room with nausea, vomiting, and a splitting headache. She tells the admitting nurse that she had never had less food inside her body than at this moment, because several gallons of liquid had just exited her body from the end that was supposed to put out solid waste. Earlier in the day, BT was trying to record a pickle mukbang. Since March of 2020, she had lost all interest in work when everything became work at home. Her job in sales became a job of making it look like work was happening when really nothing was getting done because everything was just endless, long-winded virtual calls of coworkers talking about nothing. She felt her career had become something that could have been an email. Sometimes when she was required to be on camera but didn't need to say anything, she would point her work computer's webcam at a video loop of herself on her tablet to make it look like she was there, but really she was off doing her own thing. BT loved mukbangs where people would eat food on camera. She found these therapeutic where she could eat with a feeling like someone else was there with her. If no one was taking work seriously and she now had all this extra time on her hands, then why not try to make a few mukbangs myself now, she thought. For BT, almost instantly she had an audience. Every day she'd notice the same names commenting. They would send her messages and tips and as she made more videos, she knew exactly what to expect, but she wanted more. To grow her audience, she noticed that when she ate something different or excessive, she'd attract bigger and bigger numbers. One day, while in the grocery store, BT found gallon jars of pickles. She remembered seeing earlier that other people had posted themselves eating these gallon jars, and those videos got huge numbers. But she needed to be different. Maybe she could just eat the gallon and enjoy it without the need for a rush. She looked on her phone and pickles are healthy and low in calories, so it's gonna be no problem, she thought, and she bought the gallon jug and prepped herself for the feast. At home now, excited for lunch, BT cracked open the jug and and started eating the pickles. She felt good. She loved the crunch of the cucumber on her teeth as the pickle juice dripped out with flavor. Nothing like a nutritious meal, she thought, as she started explaining to her audience the health benefits of pickles. Pickles are cucumbers, and cucumbers are vegetables, so all of this is obviously healthy. And you know what? Athletes use pickle juice to replenish their electrolytes and prevent cramps, and can you believe this? It's also a probiotic, so undoubtedly it helps with digestion, and because stomach bacteria affects the brain, it basically just heals the whole body, she said to everyone as she slowly finished the gallon jar of pickles. She had to take a few bathroom breaks in between, and then she started drinking the juice. By this time, her lips were all puckered up from all the vinegar, and she could feel some sores in her mouth, but this didn't matter because there's nothing wrong with a good pickle, she thought. Immediately after finishing the whole gallon of pickles, BT felt bloated. She had seen some people get sick trying to eat it quickly, so doing it slower was absolutely the right thing to do. But about 20 minutes after her last sip of the juice, BT could feel her stomach rumble. At first, it was just a little shake, but very quickly, it felt like her stomach was folding on itself as she clenched her body together as hard as she could and ran to the bathroom. On the toilet now, BT felt like all her organs had liquefied and exited her body into the bowl. As the hours passed, she felt almost every drop of water squeeze out of her body as her stomach and intestines kept shaking and quaking. In a world of hurt, she imagined her brain getting sucked out of her skull and flushed into the toilet as the trembling in her abdomen became more and more intense. After all this time, she had no urge to drink any water. Laying down now, BT could swear her skin was inside out. She could see herself kneeling on the floor while staring at the wall. She couldn't speak, but she wished she could. As she replayed herself eating the pickles, she was there being laughed at and confused. It kept everyone watching pleasantly amused enough to stay. But as it starts to feel like an ice pick had been jammed into her head from the back, she becomes weak and she calls for 911 as she's brought to the emergency room where we are now. At examination, BT told doctors something about pickles. It wasn't coherent because she was slurring her words. They weren't exactly sure what happened, but there's several clues as to what could be happening because she smells like pickles, and a blood test reveals that she has acute hypernatremia. 
hyper meaning high. Natri, referring to sodium, or more formally natrium, is shown by its symbol on the periodic table of elements, and emia, meaning presence in blood. High sodium, presence in blood. Acute, meaning that there were no underlying problems that are leading to this issue, aside from the one gallon of pickles inside her body at the moment, which brings us to the first clue. Pickles are high in sodium. That one gallon that BT ate has at least 20 grams of sodium in just pickles alone, not counting the pickle juice that she drank. If the juice has the same sodium content as the small pickle juicer bottles, then the juice alone could be around 10 to 15 grams of sodium. But this brings us to the difference between sodium and salt. Table salt is usually sodium chloride. That's a chemical solid made of sodium and chloride. The reason why this is important is because baking soda, which doesn't really taste salty, can also cause hypernatremia because it's sodium bicarbonate. If BT packed around 30 grams of sodium into her body during the gallon pickle mukbang, then it's like she ate 78 grams of table salt. This is a problem because 40 grams of table salt can be lethal, as doctors see BT quickly start to lose consciousness and have a seizure. The medical team notes that BT doesn't respond when they call her name. She's still breathing, but she doesn't respond to pain. Her muscles seem stiff, but when they shine a light into her eyes, they notice that her pupils do respond. All of this meaning that something is happening to her brain, but why? This brings us back to hypernatremia, high sodium presence in blood. If a potentially lethal dose of sodium went into her body, then that should explain it, but is that real? She had watery stools for hours, meaning that there was a net flow out of her body. So wouldn't the sodium have exited her body there? Maybe. You see, the interesting thing about sodium is that wherever it is, water will flow towards it. In this small science experiment, I take salty water and place it into a semi-permeable tube, meaning that only water can flow in and out of it. I submerge the tube in a pool of distilled water that has no salt dissolved in it, and you'll see that water flows into the tube. That water flows towards where there's sodium. If a gallon of pickles and juice were sitting inside BT's stomach and intestines and water follows sodium, then it means not only is the gallon in there, but more water was drawn into her gut. This explains why she felt bloated after finishing the jar, but the stomach and the intestines are muscles. So when they stretch because water is flowing in, that reflex ripples down and tells the other end of the GI tract to push things out. This reflex explains why you use the toilet after a big meal. But in BT's case, it was a big stretch, and all those watery stools are a big problem bringing us to the next clue. The thing about hypernatremia is that it's measured as the amount of sodium per liter of water. We already know that BT ate a lethal amount of sodium from the pickles, but this isn't her only problem. She also has massive water loss after hours on the toilet. She doesn't just have high sodium presence in blood, she has less total body water, period. When the denominator is a smaller number, the value increases, making the sodium measurement even more concentrated. She may have put out some sodium from the watery stools, but the blood levels point to the fact that the sodium absorbed into her body from the small intestines into her blood. And if water follows sodium, then it means that BT's salty blood is sucking water out of all of her organs. The muscles hold on to water, so if they lose some volume, it could cause cramps, maybe explaining why she's stiff. The liver is big, and if it shrivels up, then maybe something could go wrong there, but probably not too big of a deal. But if she's had a seizure and is unresponsive and unconscious, and those are related to the brain, then it means that her brain is shrinking because she's so salty. As the water gets sucked out of her brain quickly, the blood vessels shear and rip apart. This bleeding can cause permanent damage. If she's lost a lot of water, then the answer is to replace that water and add even more to try to dilute the sodium. We can't pull the sodium directly out from her body, but the more water present, the lower the sodium as the medical team starts fluids to rehydrate her, but something's wrong. When there's hypernatremia, the brain will try as hard as it can to resist shrinking. It makes itself saltier by pumping things in so that less water gets drawn out. This adaptation takes around a day to happen, meaning if the medical team corrects BT's hypernatremia quickly, then the brain might be too salty from the adaptation and the water needed to correct her hypernatremia would swell in, causing the brain to expand maybe to the point of crushing up against the sides of the skull. The medical team don't know how long ago she ate all the pickles. They don't know exactly the details of how it all went down for her. 
but it seems to be working. BT seems to be doing okay, but as the hours pass, her blood pressure starts to drop. Her kidneys stop making urine as they completely shut down, but her reflexes were still intact. Her pupils still reacted to light, so it may not yet be too late. And it wasn't. As BT regained consciousness in the hospital, she was transferred to the step-down unit before being sent home, where she was able to make a full recovery. Gallon challenge of anything is never worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and be well.